Hey guys, Ruben here, and uh, this is day three of my series. It's a series where I do videos on PC or Android uh, topics, how-to guides, and reviews of apps, etc. First of all, I'd just like to thank the support I'm getting on my channel. It really does mean a lot. And without further ado, let's uh, dive into today's review. It's actually an app. It's not available on the Android market as far as I know, but it's uh, available as an APK file, which means you just simply download it and install it on your device. So what is this app? This app is a home replacement a launcher, a bit like Go Launcher and ADW Launcher, but it is a launcher based on the Xperia S. Um, the Xperia S is a new phone, obviously brand new with 720p display, I'm not going to roll off the specs, but it's a very nice um, launcher. So it's for non-Xperia phones this, it, as far as I know it works on any phone, on any resolution. Um, they have different versions ranging from QW, QVGA, sorry, which is 240 by 320 pixels, all the way up to WXGA, which is uh, 1280 by 800 on the Galaxy Note. So you know they have a wide range of launchers to suit your needs. This is the WVGA version, um, 800 by 480, um, and as you can see, it's looking very nice. So what do you get? You get your basic uh, dock at the bottom where you can have your apps and as you can see, folders. Folders are very um, very nice as you can see, they're just like the launch on the S, the Xperia S. Uh, tapping on the, the uh, app drawer here brings you with a slightly dimmer view of your wallpaper or, or uh, live wallpaper, whatever you have, have on, with the apps on top of it. As you can see, swiping is very easy and it's also very fast, um, that is worth noting, you know, I've, I've noticed no lag and this is running on a 1 GHz single core processor uh, so yeah that's very good, so yeah, as you can see you get your apps here, clicking down here you can sort out your apps uh, by alphabetical, most used, recently installed etc and then clicking down here you can also have the option to uninstall apps uh, right from your app drawer by simply clicking on the X and it will say yes do you want to uninstall? You just press yes, and there we go, it's gone. Click on it again to get rid of it, and then just on the home to go back to your uh, home screens. As you can see, I have five. At the minute, there isn't a lot of option to customize um, the launcher. As you can see, I can choose the amount of screens, home screens I have, which is very good, up to 11, and no more than one. One is your minimum and you can disable wallpaper scrolling, go to first panel and choose what the home button does but at the minute that's the only customization you're going to get with this um, this launcher but saying that you do get extras I'll put all the links in the description by the way below but you get the launcher as you can see which is basically that which I've just shown you so you also get a choice of widgets, you get the clock widget, the on and off toggle widget, photo gallery widget, weather widget um, all separately so you can install these as your own at your own will. What I've done as you can see I've installed the clock widget and the weather widget. The weather widget uses a queue weather I think it is. As you can see there's the, an animation there in the background of the weather, uh, the clouds and tapping on it brings up a bigger display of day and night and then a three day forecast. So that's very nice and then you can go into settings etc. Look at the other clock widgets here and here they are, I'll just scroll through them for you so as you can see plenty of options for your clock widgets uh, so like I said I'll put the link in the description this has been a very nice app There's also, I'm also going to put links in the description for wallpapers as you can see here I have um, a simple static wallpaper but you can also get a live wallpaper which is actually, I think I have it here I might do a review of that later cosmic flow wallpaper which uh, as you can see moves there and it moves faster when you swipe but obviously you can't swipe in preview um, so yeah that's a very nice wallpaper so thanks for watching guys that's been my review of the Sony Xperia S launcher for any Android device it's fast, it's quick, it's very nice on the eye and uh, it's very simplistic as well which I like can't think of any cons um, other than the fact that if you change your DPI uh, to lower, which I tend to do because this is a pretty big device and it's got a big screen you do get some visual errors unfortunately but um, other than that it's a great launcher very fast and uh, fully recommended so thumbs up guys, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any, any comments please uh, feel free to ask